Hi guys! So today I'm going to share with you my list of newborn essential, which I hope that this video is able to help those new moms to be out there while they are doing the preparation in welcoming their newborn. So let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to share with you is this. This is not just a piece of cloth, it is actually a swaddle for you to swaddle your baby. Swaddling is really really important because it tends to make the baby feel more secure, you know, calm because the feeling is just as same when they were inside your womb. So it is really really important for you to get one before you deliver. You can easily get this from any of the baby shop out there. This one I got it from Babyland. It comes in a pack of three, I think. And three are just nice for me because I wash it daily. And the size is big enough. I think can swaddle up to four to five months, depending on your baby size. And I swaddle my baby, I think, up to three months. So later on, I just let her you know sleep on her own without swaddling her. So it's really, really essential. Other than swaddling, this piece of cloth can act as a blanket for them once they has grown up. You can bring this, you know, bring this out to a shopping mall or somewhere tend to be a little bit cold. You can use it to cover up their legs, their body. So I think it's a kind of cost saving things. Other than swaddling, it can act as a blanket. The next thing I'm going to share with you is my best buddy. Ta da! Breast pump. It became my best buddy since I delivered because it accompanied me throughout the days and nights. And the brand that I'm using is actually Spectra. As you can see, the size is really small and portable, so it is quite easy to carry these things out, especially to work. The stimulation is good, the power suction is good, and the battery lifespan is damn good because it lasts about it can last about two to three hours, which is sufficient enough for me not to bring my charger out to work because each pumping session I takes about twenty to thirty minutes. So during the working time, I pump about twice. So yeah, it's really really sufficient enough for me not to bring a charger out because you have to bring a lot of things so it is really really good that I do not need to bring another thing out to work. Okay, so trust me, get a really good breast pump if you are really into breastfeeding journey. So if save a lot of time, you know, it able to prevent no engorgement happens. So yeah, get a good one. And when you talk about breastfeeding journey, you need you know some of these small little bottles for you to store your milk or you can go for you know milk storage bag if you want so for me i use both of them so when i keep my milk in the fridge i will use these bottles when i want to transfer them to the deep freezer i will just use this okay when you talk about these bottles you need you know some stickers and marker for you to write down the date and time it's really, really important for you to uh, record the date and time of the milk that you produce uh, when you, before you put into the fridge. If you're really going into a breastfeeding journey, you have to get this kind of nipple cream. The one that I'm using is actually from Earth Mama and it is good because you do not need to wash it off before nursing. Like for me, I apply before and after I pump to prevent my nipples to get hurt. Trust me, the first few days of breastfeeding journey is not that good. It's not and it's not a good experience at all because your tiny little nipples will get hurt. Some of the mother out there they experience crack nipple, some even bleed, you know. So you have to get one of these, regardless of any of the brand, to you know, to apply on your nipples to prevent it to become more worse, you know. Yeah. Next, I'm going to share with you is this storage organizer which I got it from IKEA. It comes in six different kind of sizes and I use this to organize my baby stuff, especially when it comes to her clothes. When it comes to newborns, babies tend to have a lot of tiny tiny little stuff such as their napkins, their mittens, their socks, handkerchiefs so on and so forth so this is really a life savior for you to organize them neatly okay this is how i use the storage organizer of course this is not how i organize for a newborn because now my baby is actually six months old so the arrangements will be a little bit different but just want to show you how useful the storage organizer is 
So you see the small one, I put some of her hair accessories. So during the newborn time, you can put mittens, you know, you can put socks, you know, handkerchief. And here I put her pants, long pants, pajamas, shirt, singlet. So this is how I used. Yeah, even here, so I did use, you know, a dress. Yep, it's really, really good. When we talk about storage organizer, I'm going to share with you this. I call this as a diaper trolley. It's actually a trolley where you can get it from IKEA. It comes in three layer and it is movable. So it makes me it makes it easy to push this all around the house, uh, depending on where she is and whenever she needs a change. So the top layer, I put some diapers, wet wipes. You need a lot of diapers and wet wipes during the new point time especially because they tend to pull a lot. Some of her daily essential, especially right after to take a shower. We have ne uh, nappy cream, lotion, nasal spray, hand sanitizer, baby hand sanitizer actually, comb, new clipper, cotton bag so for the second tray we got a changing mat okay other than that some tissue cut uh, alcohol swab uh, some cotton bud to cleanse your baby nose no and then ah yeah this is really important UV oil. I believe most of us use this before during our kids' time. So just apply one to two drops on your palm, rub it, and apply on your baby's tummy. It is super duper good. You really have to get this. You can get it from any of the baby shops or you know Chinese medical uh, store. Okay. The last three, I put some you no know, napkins or uh, blankets. For them to cover and also some plastic bag to for her dirty diapers yeah this is my diaper station or diapers trolley uh, some of the mummies asking me the same questions whether do they need a milk warmer so okay actually i do own a milk warmer the milk warmer brand that i'm using is from philips to be very honest, I only use this during the night time if my baby needs a midnight feed because I had a kind of lazy to go down the staircase to the kitchen to get the hot water and to warm up the milk. Other than that, during the daytime, I go for a traditional way, use a mug and immerse the milk, pour some hot water and immerse the milk into it. So yeah. So it is up to you whether you want to go for a traditional way or you want to get a milk warmer. It's your choice. Alright. Some liquid detergent or liquid cleanser for you to wash their bottles, their teething toys, so on and so forth. And also some of the brush for you to wash the bottles. Okay. And when it comes to bottles, please get more than one you can get two or three because you do not because you don't want to keep on washing the same bottle over and over again so you realize you have three you can just probably wait a wait until the second fit is finished you just wash two and then let them dry and you still have remaining ones to use so my advice is get at least three bottles based on my experience another famous question is being asked do we really need a sterilizer for me it is definitely a yes you know this is sterilizer that I'm using, you punk sterilizer because as a working mom, full-time working mom like me, we don't have we don't really have the time, you know, to sterilize every single thing that come into contact with the baby by using the traditional way where we need to, you know, boil hot water and you know sterilize every single thing. And there is also, there is also a limitation for us to sterilize by using the traditional way. But with this, it does three main job for us. It helps to dry up, sterilize, and ventilate. So usually I wash all those items and I will just put all of them inside and it does all the job for me from dries up, sterilize and ventilate. As you can see the storage is huge enough, it's able to fit I think about 9 baby bottles inside. And the best part about this is that 
it can sterilize almost everything you know everything that comes into contact with the baby including your phone your phone case or keys you know so yeah it's a very very good investment so the next things i'm going to share with you is stroller so when it comes to a stroller trust me just get the one which is super lightweight and easy to manage because who knows one day you yourself might go out dating with your own little baby alone so if let's say your stroller is kind of bulky one or hard to manage it will give you some trouble because you not only have to handle the stroller you still need to handle your little one the one that i'm using is actually from maxi cozy which is super lightweight cabin size and super easy to manage this is my little stroller as you can see easy to manage especially for you to go out alone with your little one and with just one click you're able to fold it and it is super small size able to fit in my little small car and there's a lot more space for you to put your stuff all right that's all for now and i hope that this video able to help you all throughout the preparation stage and actually there are a lot more of things or stuff that i wanted to share maybe in the next video so yep yeah, that's all take care bye